Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll be covering picking up the excavator and bringing it home, then unboxing it. Had a couple of issues, as you'll see, but um, overall, it's going to be a good informational, educational video. Hello, hello. Hey, so I am now heading uh, to pick up a pickup truck that can uh, tow the mini excavator that I'm picking up, ordered from Alibaba. It is, uh, I think it's called SD25B, Sierra Delta 25 Bravo. And it is a two ton mini excavator from what I understand. I went for the optional cab, auger, and uh, the thumb control for pinching. And I think that's it. So anyway, it will be interesting. It's been, uh, it's been a long journey from ordering to shipping across the ocean, getting through customs, then getting transferred to a facility that I can pick it up. So um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I got a uh, pickup truck, a uh, Ram 3500 Longhorn Edition. So that should be all right. Going to United Rentals to pick up a 16 foot tilt trailer, a 10,000 pound capacity. My um, excavator weighs 8,500 pounds, so we'll be good there. Got some brand new uh, three inch straps to secure it. So, uh, more to come. I went to United Rentals and got a tilt trailer that was 16 foot long for 78 bucks plus tax. My shipment was supposed to be only over 14 foot, so I should have been fine. However, when I got to terminal transfer, I found out that the measurement that I had been given was only for one out of two crates. Since my excavator had a cab, they had taken the cab off and put it in a separate uh, crate. And that crate measurement was not a part of the original 14 foot 6 or so that I was given. That meant that my trailer was not long enough. Initially, they tried to load it over the tongue with a the big bo or big crate over the tongue. However, it did not work. Eventually, we ended up tearing the large crate apart and backing the excavator out of it. So, unfortunately, there's no unboxing video of that. It was without any tools, just tearing it apart. I was able to back it out of the crate and load it on to the tilt trailer. You guys at title transfer were super helpful and loaded the cab right behind the excavator on the trailer. The whole drive home was uneventful and eventually we got to the unboxing. And here we have the unboxing of the cab itself. Charlie is working at it. How's it going Charlie? Good, 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 good. I cut one side of the frame off with an angle grinder and kept William busy for about 15 minutes getting the other side off with the frame camera. How's that going? We finally got the cab out. There's a very nice frame holding it down securely. There were uh, two bolts here, two inside. Got the screws off. There are four lifting points on top. So here's our current plan. It's pretty heavy. And it's only the two of us here doing this one. So we put some really strong rope attached through here. Put a knot in it that's gonna be offset. And we figure we'll use the lifting hook here, maybe protect it from the sharp edges, and carry it over here towards the garage. And we have a setup up here. So we'll place it down here, lift it up by using the farm Tesla to pull it up. And then uh, once it's up in the air, then we will slowly lower it back onto the excavator. Right, William? Yeah. That'll be the plan. Let's hope it works out. All right, we were able to get it airborne, and now we're gonna just remove 
that uh, frame and then uh, hopefully we'll be able to drive it over. That's the plan. The whole lift went amazingly just as planned. We lifted it up in the air and lowered it back down onto the cab, making the electrical connections before securing it with four bolts. Here we have William. Skrape veien litt. Kanskje litt for dyp. Litt dyp. Ok! So some of the few issues I've had with the excavator so far are very minor. We have had one where the whole weather stripping just fell off. Um, I could just pull it off. I think it was after one time of opening the door. Another is that there was no stopper for the door. So when you opened it, it just uh, slammed into the back here. So I fixed it by going on Amazon and buying this RV door catch. And attaching that one right there. So now it catches in there. And uh, yeah, that'll, that'll do. And we had the door latch here was uh, loose. So I went ahead and took the screws out, put some uh, glue on that and tightened it back down. And it came with a, a fan and a windshield wiper here. And they just stopped working. So I was looking around for the circuit breaker for the longest time. I still have not found the circuit breaker, but I've figured out the problem. So on this controller, I have two different light switches. I thought it was gonna be for these ones and the one out on the boom. But instead, this one uh, is not light at all. It is power going to anything that's connected to the cab, which in this case is that fan and a windshield wiper. So I just gotta switch this one out or put a P-Touch label on it. Let's see. I also had a couple of issues with the windows. The left window just fell out. The channel on top was mounted slightly too high, so during the some of the vibration, it popped out. I was able to get it back in again and so we'll mount the channel slightly lower to fix the issue. On the right hand side, Looking a vertical good. piece that sits between the stationary and the movable glass fell out. It was due to poor gluing. So that's it guys. Everything went really well. I'm uh, super happy with how the excavator has performed so far. We've used it a lot around the property here where we'll be building the passive house. We cleared a lot of land down here using the dozer blade, cut down a uh, shit ton of trees and place them over in a pile over here primarily pulling it with the Tesla because I uh, just got the excavator and um, then uh, recently I've been stacking them using the excavator and they've been handling it just fine so all this lumber will be milled into either cedar siding for the house or it will be a 2x4s and 2x6s for the interior walls so if you want to follow along for the building of the of the um, passive house with all the components that come along with it, we're going to have geothermal where I'll be using the excavator to dig all the trenches for that and um, everything else that goes along with it. Then uh, please follow and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one.